Welcome to Randy's office. This is a uh, brief tutorial on how to complete a SIMNET exam. So you'll access the exam typically through your LMS. You'll click on the link and it'll take you to the SIMNET exam. Um, there may be instances where you go directly through SIMNET. So I'm going to open up the exam here in SIMNET. And if you access it through your LMS, it'll take you to this page. And on this page, it's going to tell you some information about the about the exam. So how many questions, how many attempts are allowed, what the time limit is. If you've had previous attempts, it will it will show it down here. So um, when you're ready to take the exam, go ahead and click the take exam button and then click the start exam. And this will start the timer if there is a timer on your exam. Once you're in the exam, up in the upper right here, it tells you uh, which question you're on, how many attempts you have. It'll show you your timer here, display your timer. Typically, your instructor can turn that turn that feature off. Um, you'll also have a list of a list of questions here that you can look at if you want to see kind of see what the questions are as you go along. I can cancel out of there, and it'll take me back to the to the exam or to the SIMNET exam. Um, over in the upper left here is where you'll have the instructions for the question. So carefully read the ins instructions. This is a simulated environment, but it looks and feels a lot like the desktop application in Excel. So you can um, click on the different tabs and move around here. You can actually even open up dialog boxes. It's not until you apply something that's that's correct or incorrect that will actually grade that um, that question. So on this one, I'm supposed to apply accent cell accent one cell style to the selected cell. The cell is already selected here. So I'm going to go to the cell styles and I'm going to go and apply accent one, which is this one, to the cell and it's going to tell me I got that one correct. And then I can click OK, and that will move me on to question two. And you'll continue that through. I'll show you one that what happens if you get it incorrect. So on this one, I'm supposed to apply the preset margin. Again, I can, I can click around on the different tabs. I can open up drop down lists. It's not until I actually apply something that's incorrect where it'll mark me incorrect. So I'm going to do something incorrect and it'll tell me. And then it gives me um, what I was supposed to do here. This may or may not show up depending on what how your instructor sets it up. It may not show the hints on how to do it if you have multiple attempts. So. Uh, so anyway, that's exam. When um, when I'm done with it, some uh, your instructor will allow or may allow you to pause the exam and come back to it later. But I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the exam now. And I can I'll go ahead and save progress. But when you when you exit out, it takes you back to that same menu here. It shows me how much time I have left. I'm on attempt. I'm on attempt one. Um, if I have other attempts, it will show me here the previous attempts. If you have multiple attempts on your quiz or exam, um, it will show all that information here. Um, when I'm ready to go back and take the exam, I can click on take the exam. If I've saved it, it'll take me right back to where I was previously. So that is a SimNet exam and. I, I hope that helps. Have a great day.